quantum mechanics defies common sense. Take measurements. In our world, flipping a light switch always turns it on. But in the quantum realm, the outcome depends on how you ask the question. This is called contextuality, a phenomenon so bizarre, even Einstein called it spooky. Contextuality isn't just a quirk, it's a fundamental resource for quantum computing. The stronger it is, the more powerful our quantum machines become. In 1989, the GHZ paradox delivered a knockout punch to classical physics. Unlike Bell's theorem, which relies on statistics, GHZ showed a logical contradiction. Quantum mechanics and classical physics cannot both be right. It is like a magic trick where the rabbit as existence depends on how you open the hat. GHZ's legacy, a 100% versus 0% showdown. For 30 years, physicists hunted for the simplest version of this paradox. Why? Because fewer contexts mean stronger, cleaner violations of classical logic. Think of it like a chess match. The fewer moves to checkmate, the more elegant the strategy. Now, a global team has cracked it. Using graph theory and a 37-dimensional quantum system, they've built a GHZ paradox with just three contexts, the theoretical minimum. Here's the genius move. They mapped quantum events onto a Perkle graph, a mathematical structure where nodes represent measurements and edges mark exclusivity. This graph symmetry let them compress the paradox into just three contexts. It's like solving a Sudoku puzzle where every number must contradict itself. The Perkle graph's geometry forced this contradiction into the fewest possible steps. But how do you test a 37-dimensional quantum state with time-multiplexed optics, a photonic symphony of lasers, fiber loops, and ultra-fast modulators? Key tech breakdown 1. Time bin Encoding They sliced light into picosecond pulses, each representing a dimension, like turning a laser into a quantum clock. 2. Fiber ring Convolution Pulses looped through a fiber ring, interfering with their past and future selves. Imagine a racetrack where cars merge and split at light speed. 3. Homodyne detection. They listened to the light S phase and amplitude, like decoding a symphony from a single instrument S note. Animation. Light pulses racing through a fiber loop, merging into interference patterns. The stakes. A single misaligned phase or timing error would collapse the paradox but their results were staggering, 99.83% agreement with quantum predictions. At the heart of the setup, a homodyne detector acting as a quantum microphone, it captured whispers of light's phase, data so precise, it revealed the paradox's sharp edge. Close up, oscilloscope trace zooming in on a spike labeled GHZ violation. This isn't just academic, stronger contextuality means quantum advantage, Faster algorithms for drug discovery or AI. Two, unbreakable codes. Encryption rooted in quantum paradoxes. Three, error resistance. Robust quantum memory against noise. We're not just exploring quantum physics. We're engineering its limits. This is the blueprint for tomorrow's technologies. What's next? The team eyes a four-context Cauchin Specker set, a holy grail for proving quantum weirdness without special states. And their optical toolkit? It's already paving the way for scalable quantum networks. One thing's certain, the quantum edge is sharper than we ever imagined. And this is just the beginning. Want to ride the quantum wave? Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and join us as we decode the universe's deepest secrets. Got a quantum question? Drop it below. We might tackle it next time. Stay curious. Stay quantum.